thought I'd share, like, you know, a little personal story about myself. It's really not a personal story, it's just more about, like, explaining more of why I carry myself a certain way and how I do now. I just really won't allow myself to be played with no more as far as, like, people wasting my time and, you know, talking down and bad about me. I went through a household where all we did was talk down on each other. We tore each other apart mentally. Even when we were sad, crying, and we noticed that the person was hurt and upset by those things, people uh, would still do you any kind of way because they know now that you showing weakness. And I'm not like every other guy or girl out here making it seem like I've never took any L's. I actually took more losses than wins. I've ran from people who I've been scared to fight. Even though I've gotten into fights and things like that, now that I'm older as a kid, man, let me tell you, I used to be a scary individual. Like, I was scared to talk, approach women. I was scared to have confrontations with men and address them, look them eye to eye. I had to really teach myself how to do this. My father was in prison a lot. So I really had to learn how to become a man on my own. And it's a lot of things that I'm missing mentally. Like, mentally, I really don't show emotions. I really don't have feelings for a lot of things. Even, and I'm, I'm, I'm a person who's like a realist. I uh, understand the things that's going on. Like, there are girls around me and my friends are around me. They tell me that I need to open up and talk more. I need to relax a little bit. This stuff is way harder because, you know, I'm, I, I, even though you're not supposed to refer to the past, it's just things like people did me away growing up and it made me feel so small. And what I mean by that is like I grew up as the innocent kid who really didn't get into too much trouble. I was I had a smile on my face a lot. I, um, respect your elders, like anything that will resemble a good kid. A lot of people will say that growing up, like, he's a good kid, he don't really get into too much trouble. And me being like that, it allowed me to get taken advantage of. Like, I ended up hanging around the wrong people, and me trying to be nice and friendly and helpful. I was raised on Bible beliefs and things like that. And the way it raised me, it just had me really catering to everybody else's feelings. It didn't matter how I felt as long as everybody else got what they wanted. And I know where I got that from. I got that from my mother. But the other side of that is, if I'm not like my mom, then sometimes I'm like my dad. I'm mad, I'm ready to rage out, I'm ready to lash out at people, don't talk feelings out, I'm ready to fight about it. And for the most part, a lot of things really just mess me up mentally. The reason I'm grinding so hard is I'm trying to get to a point in my life where I can live on my own and be out in a spot where I can think. That's why I like Kansas a lot. It's not too much nonsense like how I was growing up in the cities I grew up in. And sometimes when things move too fast, you don't got time to think stuff out. I understand, like, I don't have kids. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have my life together up here and in here. So how can I have the time to be with a girl how can I have the time to really hang around friends and stuff and the thing with me is like I feel like poverty struggling situations really is a result of how a lot of us turn out to be and a lot of crazy stuff happened to us growing up in our household because my parents wasn't around to raise us so a lot of times we got put off on different families and different households and it's important that you take the time out to know who your friends and family are, the people that they're around. Because for us, we just got put off on different families and these people was weird, man. These people, you know, a lot of things happen in these households. And it's just, it just be a lot of stuff that really be bothering me, yo. And I'm working on it. I had a girl today tell me that I got like a narcissistic type of vibe about me. Now, had she been the first girl to tell me that, I would have ignored her. But I've heard this plenty of times. Even people who I don't know when they see me in a bar, in a club, or at a party, I look unapproachable. I've been hearing that for the longest. I need help as far as like working on how to be approachable, how to 
you know, just vibe out and relax. But that's also the reason I don't like drinking and I don't smoke is because of how it it flips the switch to make me feel a certain type of way. I'm like, if I need that to feel a certain type of way, what does that say about me? I want to be naturally just free and happy and enjoying life. But these are things that I got to work on. These are things that I'm really working on. I ask you for help, advice, and stuff like that. But it's really, you're never going to find that help and advice from others. You got to look within. You got to evaluate yourself. A lot of times I really evaluate myself a lot. Think about what I could have did wrong. Think about what I could have did right. But my whole thing is to really elevate my life. But it's, you know, just a couple of things I just wanted to share with you as far as, like, just how things are out here. So, I'm working on it. This journey's just beginning, but I got goals. In my previous video, I posted the goals that I have. So, I'm working on a way to fix that. I'm working on a way to elevate and grow mentally and find out who I am as a person. Oftentimes, growing up, I was told what to do a lot. I didn't have a chance to express myself or say an opinion in the household. Anytime I would uh, express my opinion in the household, 